Alright, welcome to this little video tutorial. Um, this is a really, really basic tutorial on how to use the background eraser tool. So, if you're an advanced Photoshop user, then just get out right now. You don't need this. Alright, now, um, basically in Photoshop, there's many ways to cut things out or erase, but this is one of the easiest way to get a background away. As you can see, I have an image of a sunflower that a friend of mine took, and she gave this to me for this tutorial. And we're going to erase the sky background for her do, to use this sunflower image somewhere else. It's really easy, actually. You just go to the eraser tool, which is right here, and then you choose the background eraser tool right here. You can also do this up here. Um, there is not many things to be done, just adjust your brush, brush size, which is, in this case, can be pretty big. And just leave this how it is, you don't need to change anything of that right now. And basically, the tolerance depends, uh, adjusts how much you're going to erase depending on the color that you're going to be using. Uh, let me explain this a little further. I'm going to set this to 50 so we have medium. Um, basically what you can see is inside the circle that I have there's a little cross. Uh, the background eraser tool will erase everything of the color that is inside of the circle that the cross is pointing on depending on the tolerance. That means if I click if I click with a little cross on the blue everything that is blue and a similar color as blue will be erased inside of the circle as you can see here now you can see it didn't erase the white cloud and we can change this by adjusting our tolerance and here you can see it'll just erase basically everything that is similar so we don't want to have that so let's just put our tolerance back down to 50 percent and now the eraser tool is extremely useful if you want to do something like this for example uh... we're just going to erase all of this background right here and you see that works fine that's normal but you can do that that with any other eraser tool also and it's actually easier because it's more intense but this only works if you know that you want to erase a whole uh, part of an image. Now if you get to parts like this where you're between leaves of a flower or heads of people it's really difficult to do this with a normal eraser tool and that's where the background eraser comes in handy. See I'm gonna set down our diameter a little to 50 let's say and uh, our tolerance stays like this and I'm gonna zoom in right now to these flowers and now see that the cross is pointing at the blue background but it is the circle is still pointing at the yellow sunflower now if I draw right here on the blue you can see that will erase the blue but the yellow stays and you can see how extremely useful this is when trying to erase a background in Photoshop and we can do this all around the flower like this See, and like this you can have this beautiful flower um, set free from this sky background. You see, like, you have perfectly fine edges, it doesn't cut off anything of the yellow. Now, um, basically, there's only one other option to this tool, which is actually very important. There is contiguous and discontiguous. Basically, it means this. I'm just going to demonstrate this. I'm going to draw... Um, a green circle right here on my canvas and this green circle represents a disruption in the background now imagine this is something in a real image and you have your background eraser tool and if you have the contiguous option look what happens I click on the blue I'm gonna take a bigger brush right now I click on the blue and but the circle is pointing inside of the green but it's not erasing it. So I can erase around this, but it won't erase on the inside, even though it's pointing on it. Now this is the contiguous option. The discontiguous one, basically this, this. The blue is still included, but it's disrupted. It will go around 
the green circle basically whoops now I touched the green circle basically erasing what is inside and what is on the outside so you see this is very helpful to what we're trying to accomplish now I'm just gonna finish this image up real quick and now I'm gonna skip this and here we have the final product thanks so much for watching